Meave noticed one of her scouts, a certain Corporal Larkin, halt his mount and train his gaze on the woods. Your Grace, I thought I heard something, could have sworn. A whisper, maybe, but... Hmm, nothing now. It's all gone quiet. I think I might have imagined it, in fact. Imagined? Meave placed her hand on his shoulder. No one has sharper senses than you. If you claim to have heard something, it's worth a closer look. Corporal Larkin saluted, then rode past the trees. Suddenly in shadow, he keenly scanned his surroundings. Something caught his attention. He dismounted, then brushed aside ferns, exposing tracks made in the mud. Your Majesty! He shouted, quickly turning towards the road. Sound the alarm! It's squirt! An arrow whisked through the air, pierced his throat and suddenly silenced him. Then the forest came alive with cries in the Elder Tongue. Elves on the attack. It's a trap! Two arms! I told you it'll never end. Brenner, stop! We surrender! The Scoia'tael fighters stood no chance against Meave. When the sounds of battle finally ceased, the Queen, victorious, tossed aside her arrow-studded shield. She then ordered the commando's leader brought before her. She'd expected a ranter who would turn up his nose, spit in her face and cry, Death to all Dwan! But the bloodied elf before her was no arrogant firebrand. He averted his gaze, and his lips gently trembled. Youthful you look, elf. How many summers to you? Thirty? More? Twenty-seven, my lady. Twenty-seven. A wonderful age. A shame to die so young. I beg you, Renner. For mercy, I ask. If not for me, then at the least for... Mercy? You jest. You wait in ambush, come at us like bandits, and now, now you dare ask for mercy. It was no ambush. Don't play me for a fool. I know what I saw, and I'm no stranger to Warcraft. It's not you we wish to fight, Zvere. Then who killed Corporal Larkin, hm? Werebubs? When we saw you on the high road, we fell back and hid in the wood. We wanted you to pass. Your scout's hearing, very keen. He heard something, then spotted our tracks. You must understand, we had no choice. You know you might have surrendered. Like Dristan's commando. Is that what you mean? They laid down their arms before an Adernian general, who ordered them hanged, one and all. If we're to die, we prefer to die bows and swords in hand. Why are you here? I can understand, but I cannot forgive. You killed my soldiers, my loyal folk, who followed me across half the continent, only to die in a ditch for nought, with victory so close at hand. My lady, I too lost brothers and sisters today. Their deaths equally senseless. Why are you here? Were you to rescue Epdahi? Rescue someone? No, Renna. We flee. The Nilfgaardians have realized they'll lose the war and have renounced us. Without their support, we stand no chance. Demavend has loosed his hounds. They hunt our units one by one. He's offered 50 gold pieces for the head of each Scoia'tael. It's the same in Temeria and Kedwen, if not worse. We wish to join with your Veth's unit, flee together as far as we could. It was our last hope. Why do you tell me all this? Because you listen still. You've not ordered me killed, so... You've clearly a heart. Eseth Aina Eddu. Elves often speak beautiful words. But it's for their deeds you must judge them, Your Grace. The Moulderwood, remember what you saw. I beg you. So few of us remain. All tired, all wounded. We pose no threat. Let us leave your realm. Let us flee. Enough senseless killing for one day. So be it. You're free to leave. I... I don't know how to thank you. Make certain I don't ever regret this decision. T'would be thanks enough. Your Majesty, they attacked us, came at us unprovoked. Truly, Rayla. Unprovoked. Because it seems to me, we've provoked them for years. I thank you. 
for your compassion towards me and all my folk. Meave personally unfastened the prisoner's chains as her Lyrians looked on in silence. They did not approve, this was clear. Their displeasure was palpable. I don't rule these lands. I'm not queen here. It's for Demiven to judge you, not me. Deliver us to him and you know what fate awaits us. I do. But I know not what fate we face if I release you. Perhaps you'd leave in peace. Or perhaps another would stumble across your path and, like you did Corporal Larkin, you would have to kill them too. A risk I'm not willing to take. So, death for us all is the lesser evil here. Meave gave no reply. His eyes downcast, the elf nodded, then lifted his arms to be chained. Meave sent the Scoia'tael to Demovend. What became of them, you ask? The end of their story is not hard to surmise. You make excuses that don't interest me. I want him in chains, and he's to be sent to Demovend. You don't understand! He hates... Oh, I understand very well. I know his hatred for your kind, but I don't bloody care. Soon after, the Adernians took in all Meave's elven prisoners. What became of them at last is not hard to surmise.